from Britain. Okay? So, so now, the British understand what I'm doing here on this bit of land is the same as every bit of land in this country. No matter what or who is doing other titles, uh, they still came out of this title, the deed titles. All, all the, the New Zealand government's titles were split from the big blocks down to smaller blocks. Uh, in Queen Victoria's and Queen Vic, uh, Elizabeth's side, but the king's titles, well, the ones I'm doing were big blocks um, with uh, the original one chief per one big block. Okay, you see? So the 1862 Native Land Act of New Zealand was this referee for Manukau and Rogan on Pukekohe. He owned the whole of Pukekohe, uh, Franklin District from Clevedon over the Bombay Hills and over to Afitu and the South, Kaipa, uh, South Manukau Heads in Karaka, all those area. One chief, that was the chief, the Moriori chief, that owned all of that as far as the British are concerned. The same with Hori Tikuri. He owned big blocks of land, this side of, of uh, um, Hokianga to uh, Wai, Waima. All that area there is, that's his title on this side, uh, as one chief. So all the other Ngāpui should have one chief to the same British title. If they haven't, then they can't entertain this flag. They shouldn't be flying this flag because this flag is not for Maori. It's for British contract with a chief who has one uh, deed title of a uh, survey land title. That uh, that that's what that's what Morris has got. He's got those for that uh, uh, hori hori uh, hori uh, uh, tikuri. So uh, anybody else can bring their titles, and I'll do them if they've got those deed titles. They're the old ones, the first ones with only one chief's name on it. You see what I mean? And that's, that, that's the title that you need to get pound notes and all the rest of things from Britain, not from here, from Britain. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm doing these titles in the native magistrate court. You can't do it anywhere else but through a magistrate court to get that title. See? The other titles that everybody holds are New South Wales, New Zealand, Queen Elizabeth titles. See? You see what I mean? You can't go and jump into the other. In fact, that flag is useless on the Queen side. It's, it's useless for any Maori government or anybody that's trying to use it for their jurisdiction. It's not for their jurisdiction. It's a King's flag for this jurisdiction of these single out chiefs. You see what I mean? Uh, well, no, this is going straight into I'm going straight into the land to seize the whole country back. One shot. Once I get tired, get finished, that's it. I'll take the whole country. One shot. Because that's only a British title. All the other titles will still be playing around forever and a day with John Key and uh, Bill English and all the rest of them. They're stuck in that one. You'll stay there forever until you solve that contract with the government in Wellington because the upper house at Titi is the other half of the government in Wellington, and that's that jurisdiction of the Queen. You can't, the flag is not for that. The, the flag, the 1834 flag, is for the King. The 1835 flag is for the Confederation of Chiefs and Te Timorai and the government in Wellington, which is a lower house, and the upper house is Te Timorai. It's in that jurisdiction, but you can't use that flag in that. Uh, jurisdiction of uh, New South Wales and New Zealand government. It won't work. It will only work for King William in the British titles. That's what I do. Okay. Okay? Okay, I'll be here for a while yet. Yeah. Right. right, bye. That's Willie Pater checking up to see if I'm still here in the Marae. And yes, I am. I'm still here in Te Ungamaka Marae on today, the 11th of November 2017, strutting my stuff as a sheriff and surrogate King William IV with my uh, uh, friend, uh, Dion Walker, or Dihar, the entertainer in Maori culture, music, 
and entertainment. He's here doing our waiata today and our spiritual side of the Whakapapa here in the Kaipara and Tainui and uh, Ngāti Whātua. Uh, so he'll have a free reign to talk about where to from here as far as he's concerned. He's got a whole audience in here. There's lots of tūpunas right here up above us watching on this floor. Now we have our uh, proxy um, uh, today, those who are uh, 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 here by proxy at this hui. We've started late in the afternoon. We haven't started yet. We're just about to start about five o'clock. And I'll go through the videos uh, to uh, uh, run this uh, uh, to Ungwaka Marae Native Magistrate Court and to acknowledge Refa Refa Manika, the uh, paramount chief of Pukekohe and the uh, uh, south uh, of Manukau Harbour, that is Marae, the Manukau Marae in Afitu. So this is his day with Rogan, the British land agent today, who bought the land from the native land, the Moriori Manukau land from Refa Refa Manukau for five pounds deposit, and that's on the record on the book here. I'll be explaining that shortly. Um, so we have Dion in there, or Diha, uh, doing his speech and his waiata practice before we go into our um, uh, hui for today, um, the anniversary of Refa Refa Manukau, uh, sale of his native land to Rogan, John Rogan, um, land agent for King William IV, Crown Britain, UK. So um, uh, we'll go into the formalities afterwards, but I just thought I'd switch the camera on for uh, Willie Pater up in Pangaru in his Waimana, Waimana Marae, uh, just to respond to him and what this day is all about. And he is surprised that we're here in the Marae. Uh, I've been given the Marae by um, uh, Annette Hakarai. She's in charge of the marae here. Uh, today, we came uh, at 10 o'clock uh, hui, but I was looking around for the key, where she said to leave it, but she took it home. And I only found her number an hour later. But however, we got in here. We'll be staying here overnight uh, to run over everything, to prepare, to take the mana and the uh, uh, Māori from here, this piece of land, uh, to Taheke, native court uh, in the district of Taheke under Hori Tikuri, Paramount Chief. Now, I mentioned to Willie that the Paramount Chiefs are one tūpuna on a British title of a whole district area. And in this case, Pukekohe was a bigger area before it got cut up, and also Taheke was a big area before it got cut up. So, in that area, we have a native court, Marae, that was putting the native lands together in there, and as well as a Ratna church. As far as the Ratna church is concerned, they followed on from the Methodist church, where they started out from, the Pakia church, then they went into their own native church. Okay, fully 100% native church. And that's where the Moriori Manukau, Mohi Temati Manukau, Paramount Chief, took to the Rogan, in, uh, uh, married into the Manukau family in Awaroa, uh, Magistrate Court in Helensville, where they um, uh, put this bank together, the Awaroa Bank, with the Rogan family and the Manukau family, and also married into the Wānoa family in the East Coast, where the St. Mary's Church in Tikitiki and the Rahui Marae, and also birth, death and marriage certificates there. So that's all I want to say with this video, since um, um, uh, Willie Pater is curious to see whether we had finished the uh, hui. No, we haven't even started. Uh, so uh, now that he's uh, um, satisfied of, of what we're doing today here, and then we can carry on with our, uh, our hui. So that's all I want to say for this moment. Uh, today is... Uh, um, Saturday, 
the 11th of November 2017, the Remembrance Day of Rewhara from Manukau, Paramount Chief and Rogan British Crown Land Patent Agent. Okay, that's all for now. Bye. See you later. Bye.